In today's video we are painting the buzzard that we built last time and looking at how I do my rust techniques. Land. Ah, yes. Let there be light! Yes, so I finally got a desk lamp so you can actually see what it is I'm doing half the time, especially with a dark undercoat as we can see here, which is all black. Now, normally I would undercoat in brown, but uh, I ran out, so that's why we're using black today. Um, but it doesn't, it honestly doesn't matter when painting rust if you want to use brown or black. Now, I will apologise ahead of time for the lighting in this video, as the bulb in the lamp is a yellow, orangey light bulb, rather than a clear white, so some of the colours will be a bit blurred, and where, I'll, where I can, I will cut to a natural white light. Okay, so starting things right off, painting rust is, I think, the easiest of techniques if you're doing just a solid rust car. If you're trying to do rust like little pockets of rust or trying to do salt techniques or anything like that, then that's a bit more advanced. But if it, you're just going for it's an orange rusty car, this is nice and easy. So literally anyone can do this. Paint selection, super basic. So we've got red, brown, white, black. I would use a beige bleach bone type colour, except mine's completely dried out and useless. And of course, yellow. Yellow is the most important paint for this technique, for the pure sake of you'll use yellow to make oranges, you'll use it to brighten colours like your reds or your browns, you'll use yellow more than you think you will when it comes to rust. Okay, so jumping straight into this, we're going to be mixing a red and brown base coat. This is going to be quite a dark neutral colour and really form the body of the rust on this car. And as you can see going on, already that's picking out details that we put into the model when it came to building it. After that we're actually going to get a nice warm rust colour and this is as simple as taking red and a little yellow and bashing them together to make orange. If you've got a premix orange that you love to use, like one of the Games Workshop or Mantic paints or Army Painter paints, just use that. You don't need to mix them if you don't want to. This video is purely for how I do my cars. After we've got our orange on there, you might notice little bits and pieces breaking off. Don't worry, just glue those back on. It's always, it's always fun to have things go wrong when you're making a video. Now, one step you don't want to miss is a step that I picked up from the auto kill guys, Owen and Henry, and something they love to do is use a black wash or an oily wash along any cracks and creases or like the door frame and windows of the car. So any lines that you really want to stand out, do those before you do your sand dry brush layer. That's really good. After we've done our orange, this is where we're going to get into our sandy coloured highlight all over the car. Now, normally you could use a bleached bone or a beige colour and just go straight over the top and it would be absolutely fine. Focus on the wheel wells around the tyres, the underside of the car, dry brush where you can and it'll look fantastic picking out the real, you know, top edge details in your work. That said, we don't have any bleach bone or beige paint, so we're going to we're going to mix them. Now, the best consistency I find is around 10 to 1 with white to yellow, so the majority of the paint base is white, and you're just adding small amounts of ye yellow to make a kind of eggshell coloured paint. 
If you don't succeed at first, don't worry. If it's a bit too bright, you can add more white. If it's a bit too light, just add more yellow. It's, it's not too hard. And as I said, if you've already got a favorite sand colored paint, just use that. After that, we're going to put on some metal highlights where the rust would have been chipped and hit. This is especially important on top of the spikes. And then there you go. I mean, for the rust technique, this is where it ends. The rest from this point is purely detailing. So I'm going to paint the windows and the engine and all that off camera. And here you are with a finished product. It's so simple, but people ask, how do you do it? So today's video is a shout out to John Shepard who asked the question, how do people paint rust? I just want to say we had some amazing feedback from the community in less than 24 hours. So many people showing so many different ways of painting rust, which is just brilliant. Um, you've got everything. You've got the Gaslands Garage video on how to make actual rust you can paint onto a car um, rather than just an acrylic style that looks like rust but isn't actually like iron filings that have started to oxidize. Um, but I've got to say shout out to this comment by Lance Arnold Chummer Butterby. What a brilliant name, Lance. Um, who said, I just let my cars rust by themselves. Burn effects are likewise easily achieved by placing your car in a furnace. That's the most metal thing I heard all day. That That's absolutely fantastic. And in terms of other shout outs, can... I get a holler to Charlie Company Wargaming. They're doing a lot of cool stuff over on their channel. They've done some Gaslands Death Race style builds, so go check those out. Me and Faux Render have been at it, and we've got another video on his channel if you want to go have a look at that. We're talking about the sponsors, including the new one, and oh man, it's, it's great fun, so go have a look at that. And for people who are just anxiously waiting for the next me and Lee from Bleeped Up Productions collab, his next episode of The Pit Stop, as well as a battle report, will be coming out soon. So go check out his channel and get ready for those. Alright guys, that's everything from me. But as always, thank you for watching Wasteland, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. And yeah, this is just a video that my sister sent me. Um, if it's not clear, that's my previous video on the TV screen, and that's my uncle asleep while watching it. So it's it's nice to know that my video has such a, a broad appeal. I don't know, maybe there's like an ASMR thing to it. Who knows?